because of those racial frustrations, fears, anger, uh, that is making everybody just really be irritable about this whole case. Yeah, and it's also making people go off on a completely different subject. So yeah, tangent. They that. go off on all these tangents. Here, here, here. I just accused somebody of that the other day. I said, why are you going over here and over here and over here when we were talking about right here? Exactly. Well, I show my name that person, but I do say what, what my opinion is because that's I know, not how you talk to people. I know, I know you just I confuse talking. people when you tell people stuff like that. You just confuse them. There's certain right, things, Holly. though. I, I kind of watch some of What did Sherry tell Candace that made her cry that she had to have a big butt or her cash app didn't go through? What? I, yeah, first, I don't know what she said. First, I did not make Candace cry. Uh, go look on Daisy's. I've talked to her a day. She said, I don't even know what they're talking about. I said, well, supposedly I made you cry. She said, we don't do anything but laugh out here. She was going fishing. I was going virtually fishing with her. She showed me her night crawlers, and I was telling her how to clip them in thirds or whatever. And she was showing me her worms. She thought they were dying. I said, put them in the freezer and they'll come back to life tomorrow. And she said, she called me the next day. She said, guess what? They've come back to life. I didn't melt them out. Resuscitation on the worms. Are they missed. That's how we just cut up. I mean, we don't talk about serious stuff. We just oh. So, How could I make her cry? And I wasn't hateful. She so, went on Daisy. She said, she wasn't hateful. I wasn't me. I wasn't any of those things. That is not in my nature to do so that. So why did, why, did why did Daisy come and accuse you of doing so? I don't know. They can't, well, Candace had to tell her that. Mm. Or Daisy wouldn't have come in and, and done that to you. Well, I, I mean, I, I looked back and I didn't see anywhere. I mean, I, I was like. I, I mean, I, I, I'm going to tell you. Me and Daisy have our differences, but I'm going to tell you right now. If Daisy, if Daisy says Candace told her something and she come all the way to Jinkies to confront Sherry about it, then it happened. Daisy ain't going to lie about something like that. That's that's just not Daisy. Absolutely not. Because Daisy come to say something to you on Candace's behalf. She was sticking up for Candace. So Candace had to say it. But that is the way Candace is too. Candace likes to tear people apart. And maybe she doesn't like you and Daisy, you know, being so close and everything. That is one thing that I did take Do you think Candace it could be another way around? I know. No, I don't think that Daisy would want to tear you and Candace apart. Absolutely not. Because, you know, um, look, Candace Daisy doesn't Daisy, trust anybody, Daisy, and I don't Daisy, trust anybody either. And, and Daisy isn't going to and do that. We don't that. spend our time talking about the case. Why? 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 Anything. Here's my thing. Laugh. I understand that. But my thing is, why Daisy wouldn't do that due to the simple fact that, um, you know, for one, you and Candace wouldn't speak for Daisy. You know, Daisy, speak wants to keep, Daisy wants to keep peace between I cannot speak you, for Candace, Daisy, her, and all else. of you all. I can only speak for me. Right. But I'm telling you, Daisy's not going to come and, and do something like that if Candace did not tell her that. For one, well, she, because she would feel that Candace is going to get mad at her if she used Candace to do something like that. And she wants to keep Candace in her pocket. I know that. So there's no way she's going to do that. That's just, uh uh. No. But it sounds well, like Candace uh, is behind the scenes I just playing don't know what to say about between that. the two of you. I don't Candace is leading you to believe that Daisy. Well, I do. Uh, Candace is an asshole, and this is her game and, and you know, her way of playing. And well, people tell me you're an asshole, but that doesn't make me believe it. Um, actually, I probably am a fucking asshole, but I don't give a shit. You know what? I said it doesn't make me believe it either. Hey, I would have to agree with it. They, you know. Oh, come <laughs> on. You think, you've got to think more of yourself than that. Oh, my gosh. Um, absolutely not. I'm a bitch. No, you're a smart ass. That's what you are. You're not a bitch. You're, you're, a bitch. you're I'm a smart a ass. I'm a genius. I'm a real fucking smart ass. <laughs> All right. Yo, you're a genius ass. <laughs> yeah, that's what I am. Nah, I, I really, look, I don't have any animosity toward anybody. And one of the reasons that I want to make amends with everyone is because of what happened to Nana. You know, and I was I was preaching to this. I don't know if it was on Daisy, Jake, or whatever, but I kept saying, I know Ronald heard it because I was like, what if something happened to one of our creators or one of the people we know well? We would be devastated. We would be devastated. And then, damn it, it did happen. This right after I'm saying, quit being mean to people. You want the last words to be in your mouth that, well, you cocksucker. You want that to be the best thing you say? Or you want the last thing to be say is, I love you. I care about you. Thank you for being my friend. I don't care. Something nice. But don't, but, but don't, mm. you know, and Anna was not one to be uh, mean to people. She wasn't. I just recently got to know her. We were just getting ready to exchange phone numbers and stuff. Well, we already started the process, but I've got to take all that out of my phone now. But well, anyway. you know, your last words out of your mouth, um, you know, if, if they, it, it would all depend on the person and who they were talking to and if God understood or not, right? I mean, some people deserve to be called an asshole. 
Some people deserve to be called it. A, a, well, why do you think you deserve to be called an asshole? Because I can be one, right? When need be, I can be one. I can be no, whatever no, people want me to be. PG. Sometimes you have to be. You an don't asshole. have to be what people want you to be, PG. When, you be what PG they you to be. When she's don't, trying to learn yeah, things what and people find think things of you, out, PG, it's none of your damn business. Um, I I think what people think um is my damn business. And why so? What gain? What gain are you going to get from that? Knowing exactly who the fuck I'm fucking with, right? That's what, what I'm going to do. Then what are you going to do about it when you know who it is? Whatever's necessary, right? Oh. Everybody has their own ways. Sounds like unnecessary stress. Everybody has their own ways in this world. Absolutely. You know, what are you supposed to do? Sit there and be Milly Mouth, tell people that you, uh, that you love them but actually hate you? Just sit no. there and kiss ass with people? If PG, we're in my house. Just lying fuck about you? Uh-huh. That's how you're supposed to be? House. Right now, I'd say sit that recliner. There's an ashtray over there. PG, you can't change up. everyone's mind on I what mean, they think of you. May I get you something to drink? I mean, Same. that's the way I live. I think that's I the point Sherry like, made. Well, what are you was doing, making. you old bitch, here at the door? So that's just not who I am. I never have been that way. And since YouTube has gotten so angry with each other, angry, I see anger everywhere. Anger is just nothing but frustration plus fear. That's what anger is. Um, and anger I have, is a I choice. have to disagree. I have to disagree because okay, I'm going to tell you what. I fear nothing but God. I fear nothing but God. And But I'm going to tell you what. A lot right. of people, get, you know, a lot what of people do? do piss me off, right? A lot of people do piss me off. And, okay. you know, okay. and, and I don't fear them son of a bitches at all. Period. Okay. Am I one of those? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, Sherry. I, I really dislike you. I don't like you at all. Wow. I don't like your attitude. I don't like the way that you're sarcastic. I don't like the way that you make me feel. I don't like um, anything about it. And, and you know, that's just being honest with you. Absolutely honest with you. I, I personally don't care for you at all. I respect your honesty. Thank you. I really do. I like black and white. Don't give me any gray to think about. So if you don't like me, that is fine. I really don't mind. You're not the first person in my life that hasn't liked me. Absolutely not. No, you're not. But you know what? I love you, Peachy. I really do. And uh, I still would hug you if I saw you. And I will one day. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. I just don't waste no words. I'm sorry. That woman has made me um, upset many different times. And, and you know, she can play the victim. But I'm going to tell you something. I just don't like sarcastic fucking assholes that, you know, always think you should overlook them. And I'm not going to overlook that, right? She could be a nicer person. She could be a more caring person. She could be more genuine and not all fake fucking up like that. Genuine. And, you know, personally, no, she doesn't like me. She doesn't like me at all. She mm-hmm. has an issue with me. I can tell it. And, and that's cool. But, you know, don't come over here and, you know, um, play your fake ass shit with me and then sit there, you know, like she said, you know, wow, you're probably an asshole. She you know, never said that. Yeah, you I said you were an asshole. asshole. You better bet your fucking dollar she on that. She tried to tell you you were yeah, not absolutely. an asshole. I had no problem being a bitch because I'll tell you why. In this world right here, they don't give you no opportunity but to be, you know, they don't give you an opportunity to be anything different, right? That's what it is. That's what it is. PG, you're you know, a twisted ass bitch. I don't like fake ass fucking people. I don't, and I don't care for them, and I don't need that shit in my life. I don't need that shit in my life. I've had too much of that shit in my life, and you know, hey, I cleaned house on it, and I'm not about to bring it back in, right? That's just the way it is. I mean, I know everybody's gonna say, oh, PG hurt Cherry's feelings. I really don't give a fuck, right? Nobody gave a damn when Cherry was coming and hurting PG's feelings, and and she's done it many, many times. You know, and and I try to be nice, overlook it, be nice, overlook it, be nice, and overlook about it to that. a point. You know, how many times am I supposed to turn my cheek? Right? I think the Bible told me to only turn it twice. It said they smack you, turn the other cheek. After that, it don't say what to do. Well, you know, I gave her even more than that. Right? I gave her even more than that. And all she did is, I mean, she's like a fucking Frenchman with the gloves. Just smack them back and forth. Fuck that. It has to stop somewhere. And it stopped here. Right? It stopped here. I'm done. 